Welcome back to another episode of Deeper Than Sports. I am Big E, and one of your hosts. I got my boy CB here with me. What up, today what we want to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles. Who's to blame in all their debacle that's going on? From Super Bowl appearance last year into first round exit this year in the playoffs. CB, give me some, send me some. Uh, what's going on in Philly, man? Who who we play? Who we placing this on? Man, you know, I think every organization starts from the top. You know what I mean? I think head coaches take a lot of the beating in regards of, you know, um, wins and losses in organizations, especially in NFL. You know, they always – they constantly get replaced at a matter of seconds. So it always goes down to the owner, GM, head coach. You know, my biggest thing, and I think this came from head coach Nick Sariani, is when he made the switch from yeah. defensive coordinator and hiring uh, Matt Patricia as the D.C. Yeah. Um, that is – that is not good at all uh, because now what changes, it don't matter how much talent you got. Now you're doing it in the middle of the season. So are you doing it in the middle of a fire? And they wasn't playing that bad, right? They had a new DC and they wasn't playing that bad. You make the switch and tobacco. And then just everything went downhill from there. Yeah. And, and we don't know, bro, if it was a situation where, you know, I think the veterans – the uh the players is keeping a lot of things in the locker room, right? Um, but we know that New England way is not the way today's sports, bro. You oh. know what I mean? Look, look what happened to the head coach at Las Vegas before Antonio Pierce. Uh, my man, E, the head coach. You know, he he came from that New England area. Josh McDaniels, Josh McDaniels. Hey, yeah, Josh McDaniels. My bad, but you know, who knows, bro? And that played an impact, and they just got worse throughout the year, bro. And then it affected the offense, and they just wasn't the same. E. Yeah. So I want to tear that down, some CB man. What and I, you brought up a, the perfect point is the coaching, and especially specifically the defensive coordinator, bro. Coaching your coaching tree need to be just like your quarterback tree, just like your offensive lineman tree, your linebackers, bro. You need to have a pecking order, and you need to keep exactly. developing guys. Exactly. Bro, Philly lost offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, and had nobody like to replace so, him with. So, so guess what though? When you lose your yeah. OCDC, right? Yeah. I either I am first of all, Seriani is a he 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 got a good offensive mind too, right? So either I'm going to have my wide receiver coach or a running back coach or a quarterback yeah. coach fill yeah. in that boy. That's the hierarchy, that's the tree. My yeah. DC leave, E, guess what? My linebacker coach yes. is be my DC. Yeah. So that's how you keep developing. And yeah. guess what? Now we bring in somebody else. Are you just bringing guys up? But you just don't go outside of the rim, bro. And yeah. that's what he had. He had Dessa. I think I'm yeah. right now. De Dessa, he was a first-year DC. Yeah. So, you know, he kind of gave up on him. He did, too. You got to take your lumps with those first-year guys because, yeah. like, you killing his confidence. You know, you know what I mean? Like he's just like a player, bro. If he don't have the right confidence, how can he instill that into the team? So you so so he lose OCDC. So yeah. what I would have did as a head coach, right? If my OC and DC leave and I got some young guys calling it, right? I'm going to take over as a head coach. I'm going to take over the, the play call for the OC. You can have yeah. some parts, you can help me out. But guess what? I'm gonna take her over that. Yeah, because my DC is young, and then in next yep. year, right when my DC is solid, my bet, all right, walk the steps with my OC. Now yep. he can be able to take care because he lost. That's that's I think that never really happens, bro. We yep. both coordinate. You usually use one, like yeah. okay, they'll give up one offensive or defensive. Whoever yeah. had the best year, if you had a good yep. year on defense, you might lose a defensive coordinator. Exactly. If you had a great year on offense, offensive coordinator gonna get a job. Exactly. But like you saying, bro, the, the person that was getting elevated wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we was in the Super Bowl last year. Like, we should have been the next guy up, the linebacker coach, or somebody should have been calling the defense against the scout team, and we got four extra weeks. You get what I'm saying? Like, to develop some coaching, develop this, versus you lose your staff, and now you can't compete no more. Bro, and they went from had... – wait, wait, wait. Let me let me finish this. They, were, they had over 70-something sacks last year, CB. Damn. Now, like, exactly. Now you can't even – I think it's, like, under 50 this year they had, or real close, like 52 or 53, where you're not – that's 17 to almost 20 – that's a 20 uh, difference. You're so not I generating think, that pressure. You can't win one-on-one. -on -one. That so makes the whole defense different. 
I'm thinking it might be something different though, bro. Like, is it though? Like, age two. They huh? old, bro. They old. Yeah, yeah. And but they're they not make, it, but they got Hawk is good. wrong in it too. So is Brandon Graham. Yeah, but they got some guys though, bro. Like, you know, some they made some good trades. But my thing is talent do always everything. At the end, it it, it does in a sense though, bro. Yeah. But my thing is like, how do you go one of the top defense in the National Football League? And it's not just the coordinator. I know what you're saying. So I, that's why I'm thinking, bro. I think it's a locker room issue. E. I, I yeah. think it's all that. I think it's a locker yeah. room issue yeah. with that big change. I think a lot of guys was for Dessa, the DC. Yeah. yeah. When they made that switch, they were mad as hell. So what you think? It's a leadership issue, CB. Because okay, I, I, okay bro, if, I, if I, we was I, riding I, with one. If I'm riding with you and you the one leader, and then you switch it up, everybody's like, "Hold on, what's going on here?" Exactly. I, I like my man. I don't mess with Patricia. Why? Why are we making this switch? Yeah. And then when they made the switch, they were in the toughest part of their season. I think that's what they didn't really pick up. You get what I'm saying? Like if you got four hard games in a row, if you lose the first two, don't don't make a switch. Like weather the storm. See what y'all gonna do in the last two. And then, you know, Josh McDaniels. And Patricia, bro, they got a black eye e with other organizations. They do not under the Patriots. They got a black eye, man. So, you know, them cats probably was feeling some type of way when he was hired. E like what, bro? Who? Yep. You know what exactly. I mean? And they why you bring him my, here? Yeah, they feeling my man. That's a and then they make the switch to Patricia. You like ah? Oh. So now yeah. you, you got is is a is a division, bro. You got some guys yeah. feeling, you got some guys ain't feeling them. And then, like I said, bro, I think it was – that's poor leadership in the head coach, bro. Like, he went into panic mode. Before, yeah. He didn't even have to go in panic you mode. Need to, right. You ain't need to, bro. And and that might cost his job. Yeah. It might. I, I agree job. with that. I, I, I just don't understand. But, but also, bro, like I said, it's more to it than that. Like, these guys are getting old. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have made some good draft picks, man, but – is going to Georgia to get all your draft picks? Is that the, is that a successful thing, though, CB? Like, <laughs> what are we doing? You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. okay, you got a cup. You hit on Jordan Davis. Okay, cool. Jalen Carter was projected to be the number one pick overall. That was that so was he that they got him. Drafted him ninth. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do that. But to just keep hitting that well, man, that does not like just because they was good in Georgia does not mean they're gonna be good for you and for the Eagles in the NFL. Like, exactly. come on, man. And Sirianni, bro, I just like E, like I lost respect for him, man. Last year in the Super Bowl, when there was uh, they threw the they threw the um the challenge flag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was like, so like he showed like a cognitive was excitement, right? Yeah. Jalen Hurts was like, man, calm down. Yeah, you got to chill, coach. He had to tell him that he like, had to be the guy. To when him. I seen that E, um, yeah, he was done with him. Yeah, because you got a locker room full of, you know, man. Yep. man ninjas, bro. Like that, bro. Strong <laughs> personalities, confident. Right. Like he got pro bowlers. You got superstars on your team, bro. If yep. you don't have that, yep. that, that, uh, Deion Sanders type swag or Antonio Pierce or a Tom Coughlin or a Bell, even a Belichick, bro. Like if you don't have that persona, dog. I don't even know. You know what I mean? I don't really know. E, I thought it was, I thought it was interesting in that aspect, bro. Yeah, he revealed his character in that moment, CB. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what and what he what he just showed is that he does not command respect from these guys. There because if go. somebody got to put you back in your place as a head coach, that's not gonna work out well, man. It's exactly. Yeah, and that's. But what I, I want to speak to Jalen Hurts though, CB. He ain't exempt from this, like no, to me, because the quarterback development. He the last two years he had. He had made strides. Everything OC. was on the up and up. OC. He had been better at completion percentage and yards. And you know what I'm saying? This year, kind of, we took a step back. Yeah. I, I can't put that solely on the offensive coordinator. Yeah. Like, and I talked about this on a, on a previous, but I think he went into the year hurt, man. And that that lingering injury, you know, when something like not feeling right, not lingering, bro, yeah, you're he, not going to play your best, especially yeah, in the beginning was, of the year. Yeah, he was hurt, bro. Then I think he hurt his. His leg was his uh his quad or something like or his calf or something like that. And then his finger too, right? Yeah, he broke. He dislocated the finger a couple weeks ago. 
So it's just, on the throwing hand. <laughs> yeah, so that that's tough, bro. Anytime as a quarterback, I played in high school. Anytime you jam or dislocate any fingers on the throwing hand, it, it's it's tough, bro. But guess what? They don't want to hear that. Philly fans, nah, none of know? that. We don't want to <laughs> hear that, bro. We paid you a damn near half a million. He like you gotta stick it through. And he a type, bro. He don't make excuses. Nope. Never that's what I do like that. about him. Yeah, he never gets high, never get too low. He stayed, of course. He say everything right. You know what I think? But it just, it goes to show you, bro, like, it don't matter. You know, let's put this with a projector. It don't matter how, how much talent you have at the professional level. You still got to have a good OC, right? Yep. Because you're going to go against a good DC. Yep. And, it, and it showed, right? It showed that they got exposed. And, and let's talk about this Tampa Bay game, E. Like, you know, it was disappointing seeing that, E. Like, I'm seeing them. I'm watching the game. They spend a lot of time in empty. Yep. And empty, bro, you can send six. You know what I mean? And you they don't got they don't they only got five to block. One extra hat. And Coach Bowles was sending pressure every time they were going to empty. And guess what? They don't stand in empty E. And I didn't understand why this game, you got A.J. Brown out, your number one receiver. To me, they should have been a more two and two back, two tight end set packages. You know what I mean? They should have, they should have stayed on the run game. Swift should have had more than 10, 15 carry. Like they won feeding them E. Like the first game yeah. they played them, they rushed for like over 200 yards. Yeah. And then they weren't really feeding them, bro. Like, like, and then, you know, when they did feed them, it was just like, ah, oh, let's just run it, you know, get a couple yards and let's throw it. Like, y'all don't have those pass catchers, man. So this was a game they should have been running, 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 bro, setting yep. up the pass because you don't have an A.J. Brown, you know. So it was – they didn't do a good job play calling, bro. They didn't – the blitz was coming every time. Todd Bowles was showing it, E. Yeah. Showing it. Every that's time lack of, that's lack of preparedness on the offense, man. Like, what's going on, bro? Come on, Sirianni. Come on, man. And, and that's like, your of expertise. With a young offensive coordinator, like you said, y'all should have joined together on this game plan for one. Especially, you know, Todd Bowles is a blitz master. He wake up sending the blitz. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, exactly. know that. Keep somebody in. And then lastly, bro, keep the tight ends and limited. Shorten the game up. Mm -hmm. So, we not giving Tampa Bay all these possessions. We not giving Baker... Mayfield extra possessions, you know what I mean? And we keeping it close, controlling the clock, and then use the quarterback for running. So you really, yeah, you know what I mean, taking advantage of everything that you got going, man. So I'm just disappointed in the Eagles as a whole on offense, like you just brought up. But secondly, how about all the missed tackles, CB? On defense, it, 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 like, come oh, on, bro. Man. It is not rocket science. Hat on the hat, wrap him up, take him to the ground, man. Like. That is bugging the heck out of me, bro. These guys don't tackle no more. Nobody tackles legs. No, everybody want to try to come up and make a hit, and then you fall off of them, bro. Like tackle the legs, you go down right there. And uh, Philly D line played very well that game, bro. They got to the pat. They got to them a, a few times. Um, they 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 secondary killed them, bro. Bradbury, like I don't like man. Like I don't know what's up with him, bro. This year, bro. <laughs> Like he took a, I mean he, it was hor it was bad in the back end, bro. It was bad, dog. Uh, and and they talented in the back end. You got Bird that Trent came from Tennessee, tightened up all Pro Bowl. Exactly. You got Bradbury Pro Bowl. You got all these guys Pro Bowlers, man. I don't understand that, bro. Like you got Big Clay Slay out there still holding it down. Like I don't. And I that's why I said, bro. I think it's something in that locker room. Me, like, like we could say defensive court. We could say all that, bro. But man, like all that fall on the head coach. It, I know what you're saying. All that it just all go back to head coach lap. Man. I think he lost the I lost he lost the locker room, man. And uh and this is why I like the old school coaches, man. This is why I like, you know, the Lions head coach, bro, because I was watching a scene, bro, and he was talking about a training camp where he was like, Man, y'all gotta trust me on this. He kind of got emotional. It was like, man, this period, man, we gotta tackle. Yeah. You you guys don't understand now, but you're gonna understand. Like, we have to tackle, man. We because yeah. on football it comes down to blocking and tackling. And tackling. CB, come blocking on, and, and they had a period 
where they did that. It was live. He tackled. Yep. Everybody yep. was live except the quarterback. <laughs> yep. But it makes sense, though, bro. You have to still incorporate that. It don't matter. Like I said, bro, it don't matter how great you are in the professionals. You still have to still get a little bit of the fundamentals in, bro. You still got to have that spot in there, bro. You can't play – because guess what? muscle memory, bro. Muscle you memory. have to train your muscles to remember how to do this and do it correctly, not just coming up and throwing a shoulder. That's why everybody get hurt up now, bro, because they come up and they try to throw that shoulder and body tackle. Yeah. Bro, up Over the top we go. You get what I'm saying? You come up, lay your hat, bro. Wrap them up. Take them to the ground. I know I'm starting to sound like an old dude, bro, but that's how we was coached. But, you, but it, it shows in games like this. And then, you know, Tampa Bay threw the little hitch route. My man went for 80, the rookie. You see Bird come and, like, slide. I'm like, what? He ain't want to tackle him, bro. <laughs> like, but that looked bad, though, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, stuff like that, bro, is, you know, um, yeah. it was it was, it was was disappointing, E. It was, it was too, man. I, my last point is the, the lack of cohesion, bro. Like, you know when you run into the ball, CB, like, you know somebody going to get there. Like, Philly wasn't even running to the ball, like, trying to get there for real, bro. Nah. Like they were half half hearted with it. So the lack of cohesion, it does it all to me. This this is all leadership, bro. And it like and all the once the leadership thing gets solved, everything else will be solved. Cohesion, you know what I mean? Like if you mm -hmm. have the right leader, you're gonna play for them. You're gonna go hard for them. If you got the right leader, you're gonna be prepared. If you have the right leader, you're gonna do the go the extra mile. You're gonna do the extra. You're gonna make the extra block. You're gonna make sure you wrap up on this tackle. Be exactly. in position supposed to be alignment assignment come on man like i'm just terrible I'm, I'm disappointed with the eagles bro yeah yeah bro you, you right dog you right everything you just said well like before we get out of here i would encourage everybody man to like and subscribe to our channel and also hit that bell notification so anytime we drop you'll you'll receive it first until next time peace peace